Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel today and as you can see I am wearing pool attire, beach attire, a pool cover up, whatever you want to call it um, because I'm about to head to a mom's only pool party, no kids allowed. And so I figured since I've already done my makeup for the pool party because y'all know if you've watched my videos I'm gonna wear makeup everywhere. It doesn't matter even if it's like to the gym or to the pool. I'm gonna wear a little bit of makeup. So I figured I would go ahead and share with y'all some of my top favorite heat resistant, pool proof, beach proof products um, that maybe would help you out if you're in the market to buy some new products for the hot summer sun in these summer months. It's something that's gonna stay put and not run down your face if you're out there with the kids or at the beach or enjoying a day in the hot summer sun. Now I'm not gonna do like a full on tutorial how to wear all these things. I'm just gonna basically give you product recommendations of products that I've used, that I've loved, that I trust when I'm out at the pool side or at the beach. We're gonna start at the top of the face. So we're gonna start with eyebrows. So this is actually a product that I just picked up recently from Glossier. I do love a lot of their products. Y'all know I've talked about their um, cloud paint that I wear for my cheeks. It's one of my favorites, but I did pick up the Brow Flick, which is their eyebrow pin. And I mean, literally it's like a felt tip pin that you can draw in your eyebrows with. Now it takes a little bit of skill, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to knock out filling in your eyebrows. Um, but I have found that when I've worn this, it does not budge all day long, which is kind of amazing because usually if you're drawing really pencil thin hairs with a product, it tends to smudge throughout the day or looks blurry. Not this one. You draw in those brow hairs with this pen and it looks like brow hairs by the end of the day and it doesn't, it doesn't budge. So I live in Georgia. It's really hot. It's really humid. So this has definitely withstood the Georgia heat and I'm a big fan. I actually wanna buy it in another color. This one is actually brown, which I find is a little dark, so I might buy it in a lighter color just so I can blend the two colors to get a very real realistic brow look. But Brow Flick, big fan of this for the summertime heat. It stays put for eyebrows. Next, let's move on to skin products. So like I said, or maybe I didn't say, I'm not sure, um, I'm already wearing all of the products on my face right now that I typically wear to a pool party or to the beach. So this is what everything looks like on. I'm not gonna show you how to, you know, like put it on, um, but this is what everything actually looks like once it's applied. So the first thing I have on is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. So this stuff has been highly talked about for years now. I do love it. I was a little, um, skeptical like could it really be that good it is that good so basically it acts like a skin primer you could wear it alone if you wanted to you wouldn't even need to put makeup on top of it if you weren't such a makeup person but you would still get the spf of 40 which is amazing when you're outside you need to be wearing spf all the time and i will actually put this all over my face i'll even put it on my eyelids to act as an eyelid primer if i do choose to wear any sort of eye makeup whatsoever so it works for that it's really thin does not feel heavy whatsoever. So this is the perfect summertime skin primer with SPF. And so me, I go a little bit further with my skin. I do have on um, a foundation-like product, but it's actually the it Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I have been using this for years. It has an SPF of 50, which is amazing, um, with the UVA and the UVB Broad Spectrum Physical Sunscreen. I love wearing these together, but just because this is a 40 and this is a 50 doesn't mean you're getting a 90 SPF. Um, I think you really just get the benefit of the highest SPF product that you're wearing. So that's good that I'm wearing the 50 on top, but I wear this again, very thinly. I feel like that's the key for wearing any sort of makeup in the summer is to just not go very heavy handed with anything. Thinner is better just to get a little bit of coverage is worth it. So I apply this right on top of the primer just to give my skin a little bit more flawless complexion. All right, then moving on, let's go to eyes. Um, one of my favorite eyeliners. Yes, I wear eyeliner to the pool. Um, I don't typically wear a li liquid liner because I feel like that's just really pushing it, but I will wear a pencil. And one of my new favorites is the Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner 24 Hours. I can't tell you if it lasts 24 hours because I've actually never worn it for 24 hours, but it does withstand the heat for sure. Um, it is a pencil product, so I will just apply this along the lash line. It comes with this little, the little rubbery, Thing at the end that you're supposed to be able to blur the eyeliner with. I've never been good at it. It never really works for me. So y'all know I always take an eyeliner brush and I will immediately, once I've done one eye, I will go ahead with the eyeliner brush and I'll just buff that in to make it nice and soft and look nice and blurred. And I feel like the motion of pressing an eyeliner in with a brush um, just helps to create longevity as well, just to do that back and forth so that it really pushes that creamy product into your eyelid. Um, but Revlon Colorstay 24 Hour Eyeliner Definitely, definitely a winner. 
All right, and then of course, I never go anywhere without mascara. I don't go to the mailbox without mascara. So um, I actually did look up what's one of the best drugstore waterproof mascaras that doesn't budge. And this one was mentioned, the Maybelline Colossal Waterproof Mascara in black. Um, I love it. I've worn it for a couple weeks now. I take my kids to the pool a lot now that it's summertime and um, I have found that it doesn't drip and go all over my face and I don't look like a raccoon. Um, I really love the brush. It actually applies very thinly and so you do have to definitely do two coats for me personally. I like a lot of lashes um, so it's not super thick or heavy which I think again helps with its longevity in the heat. So um, it separates really nicely and stays put. Last two things. One of my favorites that stays put is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. Um, now this, you can buy them in singles, but this happens to be a part of a set that I bought of um, three compacts with three colors in each. Um, it's a really great deal. I can't remember how much it is, but I think it's like 30 bucks for nine shades of Amazonian Clay Blushes from Tarte. Um, but they work really, really great. They withstand the heat. I just put, again, very little on, take my blush brush, really buff it into the skin until it just like gets in that CC cream and it stays put and it just looks like a nice wash of color without being too heavy. All right, then the last item of the day is obviously lips. I don't go anywhere without something on my lips. Um, this one is actually very nice and neutral looking, but this is the Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm with SPF 20. So it is really difficult to find an inexpensive lip balm with SPF in it. I feel like there's a lot of more higher end lip balms like the, sugar, the Fresh Sugar um, lip balms, which are great and they have SPF, but it's hard to find like a drugstore one that has SPF, but this one's wonderful. I think it comes in about maybe five shades. Um, this one I'm wearing here is called Petal Glow. As you can see, it's very, very light, but you need to protect your lips. Think about them, they are very, very delicate. So you need to be wearing something with an SPF in them. Um, if you are out in the sunshine, in the heat, by the pool, by the beach, um, with all that light reflecting, you need to protect those lips so they don't get chapped and burned. So I love this. I bought it in a couple of other colors before, but I really like how neutral and light this is, but it just gives your lips like a little bit of a glow. All right, so that's it for today, y'all, for my pool-worthy beachy heat products. I um, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up if it gave you some new ideas of products that you could invest in for the summertime. Like I said, I live here in Georgia, or maybe I didn't say this, I live in Georgia. It's hot, it's humid. So these products definitely withstand the Georgia heat. So they should work for you if you're looking for something that is going to protect your face in the heat and keep your makeup from melting off. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will link all these products that I talked about in the description box below so that you can see them. Even my cute little pool cover. Um, it is an Amazon favorite. I love it so much. Um, I will link it too. And if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But until the next video, I'm headed to the pool. See y'all later. Bye. This is my pool hairstyle. It's a go-to. I'm not going like swimming in the water, like head under type, Michael Phelps type swimming. I'm gonna be casually sitting in the pool, relaxing, not getting my head wet, but this will still withstand all the heat. Okay, bye.